So we're actually talking today about how to make your knees that much more resilient. If you're a weekend warrior, you're trying to keep up with your kids, if you're an athlete, these are some simple exercises that really you can start with and make a part of your routine. You can do them as a warm up, um, or you can do them as part of your evening routine to help strengthen and bulletproof your knees. Hi, I'm Dr. Matt. Welcome to my quick self-help videos where I share simple and easy tips on stretching and movement to help you improve your quality of life. Remember to share and subscribe. Hi, I'm Dr. Matt Bradbury, family corrective chiropractor, and I'm actually joined by Coach Mercedes today. She's going to be demonstrating some exercises today with me that you're going to find beneficial to add to your routine and some concepts to consider to help make you that much more resilient. So welcome. Thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. And of course, I want you to consider, I'll see many patients in the office. Um, sometimes they may have sore hips, sore knees, sore low back. There may be, and really it's about your quality of life and being able to keep up with those and do what you love. So I think about the big picture in terms of input, output, your software, your nervous system. And that's really, as a corrective chiropractor, what we focus on in the office. And I'm just gonna have you turn that way for me. Many times, maybe your knees bother you, and that's what we're gonna get in today in terms of how you can help yourself. But your, your hip, your glute may not move that well, as well as your lumbar spine, your upper back, and your neck. And really, if there's nerve irritation, that's what we're looking for as a corrective chiropractic office. We're looking to see during your examination if any nerve irritation or the spine doesn't move properly. Many a times, you may be noticing it and maybe talking to you here, but there's also many areas you may have no idea about and may not feel, which may be impacting your health. So that's why we're gonna to test to know what's going on. And many a times, you may have challenges down here, but information right here, the nerves are irritating your neck, your low back, which may be impacting your health in ways you may have no idea about. So consider the health of your spine and nervous system. And today we're gonna to jump right into some of those simple things that you can do for yourself. So we're gonna start with the two feet planted on the ground and the supine hip extension, really focusing on not just relying on your passive structures like your ligaments. I'm talking about ACL, PCL, those tissues on the inside. So we're gonna rely more on the muscle tendon and how can we strengthen that? Well, Mercedes is actually gonna demonstrate the hip extension, so go ahead and come up. And when she comes up, she pauses, holds it for one second, and she works in that 10 to 12 rep range. Now I want you to go ahead and show everybody the more advanced version. And so leg straight out, pause, back down. And when she comes up, she's pausing, contracting, really focusing on not letting that knee where the foot's planted on the floor, waver, controlling her glutes, her hamstrings, and really strengthening her hamstrings to help build the resilience in the knee. Now this next exercise may be newer to you. Great in terms of how you load the muscles and tendons. Of course, you're gonna need a partner for this one. She's gonna be in the push-up position. She's gonna focus on trying to hold three seconds to a count of three on the way down. And remember, make sure your partner's got a good hold on your feet. When she comes down, she's gonna be ready to catch herself. So I'm gonna go ahead, this one's called the Nordic. And we're gonna, with this one, you're gonna train in the five to six rep range. I'm gonna give you some pressure and go ahead and go down. Okay. And she's focusing on keeping her glutes, her hamstrings tight, controlling her speed. And you can see this one you may notice, I'm gonna have you come up and pause and stop there. This one, you may notice some soreness the next day, right? And don't be discouraged by that. Your body's trying to adapt and that's how you start to build some resilience. But really, those muscles and tendons are gonna be loaded in a different way. So you may notice them. Great exercise. So let's do the reverse Nordic. Again, with this one, we're gonna be working in the five to six rep range and she's gonna load basically her knee from the front, her quad tendon. And again, she's going through the lengthening phase. Go about a third of the way back, come up. And you can superset those two with a partner and work back and forth. Perfect, thank you. So let's show everybody on the side how you're gonna load your hips. So this exercise, Mercedes is actually gonna be in the side plank position and remember, we're talking about the knee, but everything has to work together. So she's gonna strengthen her hips as well as her core. And she's coming up, she's pausing and go back down. And with this, we're gonna work in that 10 to 12 rep range. She comes up, she pauses. Notice she's working on her elbow, training her glutes, core, her obliques. And really it's all connected, your obliques, your glutes down to your knee. When she completes one side, she's gonna do the other side. And then really, 
what we've done is we put together a little routine. Yeah. Right? So you've gone from the basic beginner supine hip extension, the more advanced version of one leg, and then come back to the exercise I think is great, especially if you're trying to build resilience in your hamstrings and glutes, which we call the Nordic, which you're going to need a partner for. So thanks so much for tuning in. Appreciate you. Of course, we got a big mission in terms of helping people understand their health more, get more out of their bodies. They need more function for more health and their spinal health is vitally important for their overall health. And we simply can't do it alone. So if you enjoyed it, please consider sharing this video. And of course, if you know someone who's suffering from knee pain, take a moment, grab the URL and send it off to them so they get the benefit too. Thanks so much for joining me. Should we say goodbye? Yep. Bye for now.